He's been called the greatest Met of all time. Tom Seaver passed away in September of 2020, but his legacy and personality will be remembered by teammates and amazons forever. The Mets unveiled his statue today at City Field before their home opener. And joining us to talk about Tom Seaver, the man, the Met, and the legend is New York Post's Mike Vaccaro. Now, Mike, you said that there wasn't a dry eye in Queens County when they unveiled the statue. What did Tom Seaver mean to the Mets organization and the fans? Yeah, Brandon, I think his nickname speaks for itself. I mean, he was the franchise, and there's very few uh, athletes that have ever risen to that kind of level of adulation. And uh, the moment they took the blue tarp off, uh, there was an audible gasp. And I'm not sure that you would have that reaction for a lot of athletes, for no matter what the franchise, no matter what the sport. Uh, he remains, after 60 years, uh, the iconic Met, the face of the franchise, and uh, he probably will be that way for a good long time to come. You mentioned that audible gasp, and I'm going to jump into this next question. Um, how devastating was it for Mets fans when Seaver was traded to the Cincinnati Reds in 1977? Well, I can, tell you, I can speak to you from this 10-year-old Mets fan perspective from 1977 that it was the, the worst day of my young life, and I realized that baseball was a business that day and wasn't just a game. Um, it took the Mets a good six, seven years to recover. I, you know, the, the picture you see there of Tom, Tom Seaver's reaction when he got traded, he was emotional. The entire city was emotional. Um, Shea Stadium became, became Grant's tomb in honor of M. Donald Grant exiling him to Cincinnati. Uh, you just don't do that to an iconic player. And, you know, the Mets actually did it to him twice because they let him go again in 1983 after they did, you know, after he'd come back to play with him for a year. Um, but uh, I think this is going to help heal a lot of wounds. The family was delighted. It was just a very warm and important day, I think, both for the family and for the Mets. Well, he'll be here forever now that the statue has been unveiled. Thank you, uh, Mike, for joining us today. Thanks, Brandon.